All right, so welcome to part two of our Quizlet tutorial. Now in part one, I showed you how to sign up for your Quizlet account, all right? And we were able to successfully sign in. Now, for the refresher, you can go back and view the video for part one, all right? Now, in this video, we'll be creating a study set, all right? And as I said before, the study set is just you creating some flashcards to assist your students in studying the, the material, all right? Now, along with the flashcard, you'll get different activities that the students can do in terms of one activity would be like a spelling activity, a written activity, as well as a test. And there's also some gameplay to make the studying a little bit more fun and interactive for the students, all right? So we'll start off by first creating a set and we'll also look at creating a class in Quizlet. All right, so let's get started with creating the set. Now, when you're creating a study set in Quizlet, you must enter a title. You will also enter a title, well, a description for your study set, all right? You can also import questions from Microsoft Word, Microsoft Excel, Google Docs, so forth, all right? Now, very important in terms of setting options, you can set the study set to be visible to everyone, all right? So one option is to make the study set visible to everyone. Now, if you want to change that, you just click on change and the, op the options for visibility are, you can set it visible to certain classes, set it visible to people with a password, right? Or just set it visible to yourself. But we are going with set visible to everyone. You can also determine who can edit the study set right so you can say just me or people with a password all right so we'll select just me and save all right very important as well when you're creating the study set two things that are very important one we call the term and the second one is what we call a definition now the term would basically be the question and the definition would be your answer all right, so let's get right into creating our study set. All right, so let's give this a title. So let's call it Information All right, so for some reason, all right. So let's now go ahead and I'll basically show you how to import. So I'll click on import and it tells us that import your data. And to import, we need to copy and paste whatever data we have from Microsoft Word, Excel, or Google Docs. We have a Microsoft quiz sheet set up already. All right. So I'll just copy out all this content. And this will lead us to a very important concept shortly all right so i'll paste this in now if you notice here for the import it tells us that between term and definition we place a tab and between the different cards and i'll show what a card is shortly you will place a new line right so a card is the individual questions. All right, so we go ahead and click on import. And you'll realize that it basically imports the question for us, which is called a term. And it also imports the definition for us, which is the answer. All right, so all is looking well so far. Now, if you notice the third question, all right, so let me just read the third question. 
So the third question is in the form of a multiple choice with options A, B, C, and D. But when we import, when we imported it, it came over not the way we wanted it, all right? So we actually wanted the question to be which among the following first generation of compute, which among the following first generation of computers add, all right? And then we wanted to list the A, B, and C after the question. So we'll just clean that up. So what we'll do is we just copy out the A to D options. We go back to Quizlet and we'll just paste that in, all right? And we just go back and grab our, I mean, we could type this up, but just to save some time, I'll go back and just grab the answer and place the answer where it says definition, right? Which means that we no longer need this card right here. So we'll just go to the delete icon and delete that card. Same thing for B, C, and D. We don't need these cards, so we just delete these. Delete these, delete icon, delete those, right? Now, you'll see for question four, All right, so for question four, well, card four is actually the solution for the previous question. So we'll delete that one as well. Now, for what is now our question four, again, it's a multiple choice. So we need to now go ahead and grab these. All right. Use the cursor at the end, press enter, and we just paste in our options. I'll just go back and grab the answer as well. All right. So I'll paste that in. So again, we don't need what is there as card five. Need this with the B, we don't need the C. Go ahead and delete D. How will the answer go ahead and delete as well? All right, so everything else looks okay. Now, if we had a seventh question, we could go ahead and add another card, but we don't want to add another card, just keeping it at six questions for now. So we'll go ahead and click create. All right, now. Upon clicking the create button, it is giving us some additional options, all right? So it is asking us if we want to send the cards that we just created or the set that we just created. If we want to send it via email, if we want to copy the link, we can also share it on Google Classroom if needs be. All right, we can also add it to a class or a folder. Now I'll just click add to class or folder. Now there's no class currently associated with my, with my account. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and create a class. So I'm going to create a new class. All right, I'm going to give the class a name. Let's call it. Technology, all right. So I'm seeing the Intel Tech right there. Looking for something more descriptive. All right, so this is saying Intel Tech in State Jamaica. So I'll go with that. All right, and then we just go ahead and hit the Create Class button. All right. Now, as you see, it created the class called Technology. All right. And if you look down here, it created the card set or the study set that we created as well. So if I should click on the study set right here, you realize it has the flashcards option, it has the learn option, a write option, 
a spelling activity, a test. It also gives us some gaming options. So you can do a match game, a gravity game, and you can also go live and share the game with your students in real time. All right. So this is the flashcard. All right. So remember the first question that we entered. The first question that was asked is www stands for, and the answer was World Wide Web. So if you realize, so the flashcard is asking the question once we, so it says click card to see definition. So, so to see what the answer is, we'll just click the card, and the answer is www stands for World Wide Web. We can proceed to the next question. And the next question is, which of the following are components of central processing unit? We click, and the answer is ALU and control unit. We move on to the third question. And this is the multiple choice question that we had done. So which among the following first generation of computers add? Right, so which one of these were a part of the first generation of computers select your best answer and the best answer for us would be a vacuum tubes and magnetic germs let's see if we're correct okay so we are correct fourth where is ram located motherboard if a computer has more than one processor then it is known as and we click to see the answer it's multiprocessor next if a computer provides database services to another it is referred to as and the answer is database server all right next it tells us nice work we completed the flip cards now we can click on learn now when you click on learn it asks the question and it gives you some answers as your options. So you just let the right one, tells you correct, moves on to another to another question. You select the correct answer and then you move on. All right. Another activity to assist your students is a written activity. So you can go ahead and so the answer is arithmetic logic unit control unit so they so basically what would contain this right and we would say so we'll type the correct and let's get, let's type something that is not correct so let's just type motherboard and it answer no it tell it will tell the student that they need to study this particular question right because they got it wrong so it is encouraging them to study that particular question and it also gives the correct answer so this is a great study tool All right there's also a spelling activity so you can click on spell and there is a Nice little audio icon right here. So if you click on the audio, www stands for. So it basically tells you what should be here. 